What's up, third grade? It is Mr. Cole here from Serenity Impact, and we are already at the halfway point. We are on lesson five. Lesson five. Do a little dance. Lesson five. Lesson five. Lesson five. Everybody dance. All right. Awesome. So I'm super excited about today because today we will be talking about relationships. We will be talking about bonding and relationships. That means we're just going to basically be talking about friends and friendship. All right. So we are going to do a recap on that How to List and Cure poem. It should be familiar from last week, you guys. So go ahead and reopen your workbooks to page seven. All right. Give you a second to do that. All right. So we are going to run through our little poem. And if y'all remember the first line, it says, look the person in the eye. Lean in pizza pie. Ask a question to be sure. It's the how to listen cure. All right. And if y'all remember, I wonder who remembers. Raise your hand if you remember. There were actions to the poem. Um, go ahead and think about those or revisit those in your head. Um, but for the sake of time, we are going to get into today's lesson. So the first part is called We Go Together. So quick question for you guys. How does being a good listener help our friendships grow? Think about it. Take a second. All right, go ahead and share with me. Share your thoughts with me. All right, awesome. Great, great thoughts, you guys. So we show our friends we care about them when we listen to them, right? All right, follow-up question. How does talking to your friend about your thoughts and your feelings help your friendship grow? Think about it. Take a moment and think. Remember lesson two. Stop and think. All right, go ahead and share with me. Share your thoughts. Go ahead and shout them out to me. All right, great job, you guys. So Mr. Cole's answer is we get to know each other, right? You get to know your friend a little better. All right, so why do we like having friends? Take a moment, think about it. Now this time, go ahead and share with your neighbor. Take about a few seconds to share with your neighbor. I'll give you a moment to do that. All right, so we like having friends because friends are fun to play with and friends are there for us when we need them, right? Makes sense? Of course it does. All right, another question. We have all the questions in this lesson. All right, so how do you think that good friendship starts? Go ahead, you can think about it and then share with your neighbor again. Give you a moment. All right, so my answer is a friendship starts when you introduce yourself and talk about the things you like and dislike, right? Okay, if you have common interests, your friendship can grow. Okay, can your friendship grow if you and your friends have different interests or come with different backgrounds? So if your friendship came from a different walk of, or if your friend came from a different walk of life, can your friendship grow still? Shake your head yes or shake your head no, depending how you feel. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that the answer is yes. Friendships often start with shared interest but that doesn't mean you can't be friends with someone who is different from you. All right, so now everyone go ahead and take a moment and look around the room. If you notice, there are many friends waiting for you to get to know them better. So we're gonna do a little exercise in a second that has to do with that. You guys may feel a little shy at first, but learning how to start a conversation and feel comfortable talking with others gets easier with just a little practice. Okay, so this is what I need you to do. Your goal is to find out what goes with the item on your card. So what I need from you guys is the t your teacher to pass out cards that look like this. I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to figure out which person in the classroom goes with your card. All right, so we're going to do a little practice round. So for example... If your card says something like eggs, 
What should you be looking for? What are some things you should be looking for? That's right, you guys. You guys can look for something like bacon, right? Some cards come in three. For example, if your card is rock and then you find another card that is paper, what would be the last card? Take a guess. The last card would be scissors. That's right, you guys. So there's some exception. There'll be some groups of three. Um, but other than that, you all should be paired up at the end of this exercise. So I am going to go ahead and give you some time to do that. Ready, go. All right, you guys, eyes and ears back up here. Let me gather your attention. So you know that you found a friend with the right card if you have some questions on the back that look the same. So there's some questions right here on the back. And if you and your friend have the same questions, that means you found the, your pair, basically. All right, so once you've opened the right friend, start a conversation with them. Use those Use those topics, use those questions to start a conversation with them. Um, it can be super casual, um, no pressure at all. Uh, you may start the conversation with something as easy as, hi, my name is so-and-so. So I would say, hi, my name is Mr. Drew, and then go from there. Your goal of this activity is to find one thing that you and your friend have in common, and then another thing that you and your friend have that is different, all right? So once you are sure you have the right person, you guys will have a few minutes to go ahead and start up a conversation and just talk. It's super casual, super informal. So 
I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes to do that starting now. Go ahead, you guys, take the time to do that. All right, great job, you guys. I'm, I need all eyes and ears back up here. Um, let me get your attention again. So we are gonna, we're gonna talk about some of the things that y'all did. All right, first question. So show of hands, show of hands, how many of you learned that you have something in common with your partner? Raise your hand if you did. If I had a partner here with me, I probably would have. Okay. Now go ahead and shout to me, what did you learn? That's all right, go ahead, shout at the screen. What did you learn? What did you learn about your friend? By shout, I mean use your indoor voice. All right, awesome, great job, you guys. Y'all did really good at that. So we're gonna move on to the next, the next activity. We're gonna talk about some good stuff. So it is fun to make new friends but it takes and it takes sometimes to develop some healthy friendship right so sometimes friends can demonstrate unhealthy qualities or behaviors what does that look like mr cole i'm going to tell you so for example raise your hand if you have ever had a friend who made fun of you or constantly made fun of you or possibly bullied you raise your hand back when i was in third grade i'm not gonna lie i had a, i had someone who was not nice to me, borderline bullied me as well. And it's all right, it happens. Um, but how did that make you feel? We talked about feelings a couple weeks ago. So go ahead and share with me, how did that make you feel? All right, awesome job, you guys. So 
teasing or making fun of a friend all the time is not nice, right? Okay, so we should try to avoid that, right? That's not being a healthy friend. You are getting teased or made fun of or maybe even bullied. Um, maybe you should decide, maybe you're not the best friend for me. Or maybe talk to someone about it, like a teacher or a parent. Okay, so we are now going to move on to the next, our next activity. It's going to be super fun. It's actually a game. I love games. So everyone, first off, is going to need a partner. That could be the person you just did the last activity with. That could be your table partner. Everyone is going to need a partner. All right. So you are going to need a game sheet that looks like this and some some chips that your teacher should be passing out to you. Just FYI, not every game sheet is going to look the same. Um, but we are going to first do a little exercise called thumbs up, thumbs down. All right, so I'm going to say some words and if you think it means it being a healthy friend or a healthy friendship, give me a thumbs up. If you think it means being an unhealthy friend or maybe an unhealthy friendship, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start. Are y'all ready? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start. So the first word is sharing. Thumbs up or thumbs down? And I'm gonna do it with you guys. So. I'm gonna get put a thumbs up for that one. All right, so the second word is listening. I'm gonna put a thumbs up for that one. All right, so the third word is make threats. Ooh, that one's different. I'm gonna go ahead and put a thumbs down for that one. I don't think that's good friendship. All right, what about ignore? Mr. Cool is also going to put a thumb down for that one as well. All right, what about trusting? What do y'all think about trusting? That one I'm going to put a thumbs up for, right? Trusting is a sign of good friendship. What about cheating? Thumbs down. I'm going to put a thumbs down for that one. All right, next one is name calling. Name calling that also deserve a thumb down. What about the word supportive? I'm gonna put a thumbs up for that. I want my friend to be supportive. All right, what about taking turns? I'm gonna put my thumb up for that one because that's similar to sharing, right? And we want our friends to share. All right, what about jealous? I would say that jealousy deserves a thumbs down. It's not good to be jealous, right? What about forgiving? Should we forgive our friends? Of course we should. I'm gonna give a thumbs up for that one. What about being selfish? Hmm, selfish gets a thumbs down in my book because that's the opposite of sharing, right? What about being bossy? I'm gonna put a thumbs down for that. I don't like, I don't like bossy friends. I don't like bossy people. All right. So what about telling lies? All right, well, I would hate it for my friend to lie to me, so I'm going to put a thumbs down. Uh, a couple more of you guys were doing great. So what about fun? Fun gets a thumbs up in my book. I would love it if my friend was fun. And last but not least, the word is brave. If you're brave, you get to be my friend. I think being brave is a sign of a healthy friend. All right. Good job, you guys. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Quick pat on the back. Okay. So now what we are going to do is if you look at your game sheet, you'll have similar words to the ones we just went over with. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of stories or scenarios. And based off of what it is, you are going to put a chip you're going to take one of these chips and you're going to place it on the word you think it goes with this game is kind of like bingo so basically if you get them all in a row whether that's horizontally whether that's left to right or whether that's up and down or whether that's diagonally if you get them all in a row you can yell bingo and you win. All right. So we're going to do 
a couple rounds. Here's the first round. Are y'all ready? All right, so first round. Edwin tells his friend Hal a secret. Hal does not share his secret with anyone. Think about what word on your card goes with that one. All right. Great job, you guys. So the second one is Maggie whispered to Brianna during math class. When the teacher told Maggie to stop talking, Maggie said, that wasn't me. It was Brianna. Take a moment to think about what word goes with that one. All right, next one. So Deontay forgot his lunch, so his friend Amelia gave him half of her lunch and some of her chips. That's nice of her. Go ahead and think about what word goes with that one and then put a chip on it. All right, next one. So Samuel saw an older kid picking on his friend Kirby. Samuel walked right up to the kid and told him to back off. All right, take a moment and think about that. That one's a little different. Ooh. Now go ahead and put a chip on what word you think it goes with. All right, you guys, next one. So Lucy won't pay attention to Ivan. She likes to make him upset by pretending he's not listening to him. This hurts his feeling. All right, go ahead and put a chip on what word you think goes with that one. All right, Vivian and Ruby are hosting a party for a friend who is moving out of state. Vivian isn't enjoying the party planning because Ruby tells her what to do and how to do it. Hmm, what word could that one go with? And then go ahead and put a chip on that one. All right, you guys, so this is the last one for this round. So there's only one pinball machine at the pizza parlor. Ned and Sebastian always alternate who gets to play pinball first. That's fun. That's nice. All right. Go ahead and put a chip on what word you think goes with that one. All right. Do, now take a moment and look at your card. Do we have any winners? If so, raise your hand. Your teacher should have the answers with her and she will go over if you are a winner or not. All right. But what... While that's going on, we're going to move on to the next round. So if you have not won, go ahead and clear your card. Um, if you have one, go ahead and clear, clear your card as well. Is everyone ready? All right, so we're gonna move on to the next round. So first one, Caroline, Caroline went with Vincent to his basketball tryouts. On the ride there, she said things like, you've got this, Vincent, you're gonna do great. All right, go ahead and think about what word that goes with and put a chip on it. All right, so the second one. So Sophie wanted to play karaoke, but Annie wanted to play Frisbee. Sophie said, if you don't play what I want to play, I'm going home and will never be your friend again. Think about what word on your card might go with that one and then go ahead and put a chip on it. All right, great job, you guys. So the next one is Duke doesn't play fair. When Duke and Benjamin play hide and seek, Duke pe peeks to see where Benjamin hides. Hmm, I wonder which word goes with that one. Go ahead and put a chip on it. All right, next one, you guys. So Felix and Peter were playing basketball. Felix tripped and scraped his knee. He hoped his friend Peter would help him up, but instead Peter pointed his finger and laughed, saying, what a loser. Man, I wonder what word goes with that one. Go ahead and put a chip on which word you think goes with that one. All right, next story. So Diego was having a bad day. During recess, his friend Rusty sat down, leaned in, and made eye contact while Diego told him all about his troubles. Oh, those things sound familiar. All right, go ahead and figure out which word goes with that one. I think they gave you a few hints for that one and put the chip on that one. 
All right, next story. So Sasha and Jen went camping. It rained all day, so they were stuck inside the tent. Sasha was bummed out, but Jen said, don't worry, I came prepared. I brought games, a joke book, and pots and pans to use as instruments if we want to start a band. Well, that's super creative. Go Sasha. All right, think about which word goes with that one and then put a chip on that one. All right, you guys, so we have two left. So Willie borrowed Nolan's bike and got a flat tire. Willie returned his bike to him and said, I'm so sorry, Nolan. Nolan replied, don't worry, Willie. I accept your apology. Besides, accidents happen. Awesome. Go ahead and think about what word do you think goes with that one? All right, last but not least, y'all have been doing so great, you guys. So Pearl's grandmother took Pearl and her friend Penelope for ice cream. Penelope's ice cream fell on the ground. Pearl would not share any of her ice cream with Penelope. All right, go ahead and put a chip on what word you think goes with that one. All right, awesome job, you guys. Do you have any winners? Raise your hand if you think you won. The teacher will go around and take a look and see if you did right. All right, great job, you guys. You guys are all winners in my book. Y'all did great today. I had so much fun with you guys. Um, I will see you guys next time. And like always, have a great day. All right, bye, third grade.